In this video, we're going to be fixing uh, cores error, and we'll be configuring our startup class to do that. Down in the description, you'll find a snippets link. You could just click on that and copy the paste that I'm creating in this video instead of typing it all out if you want to. And then also we'll be referencing this link. And that is up here in the URL, and we'll be checking that out in a second. Now, here's the error that we're getting. So what's happening here is our browser security is preventing us from making a request across domains. And that's actually a pretty common error to, to get. So we'll configure our startup class to fix that. And here there is several different ways you could do it. And here's the documentation on it. Like you can set core policies and then allow certain domains to access certain APIs throughout your application. I just learned that uh, recently actually. And here they show you an example, like you can set a cores policy and say, hey, localhost 4200 has permission to access this API, but not this one. Or you could set a default policy and say, you know, everybody in the world is allowed access to this one domain, but only 4200 is allowed to have access to this domain. You know, you can set certain policies for certain domains throughout your application. That's pretty cool, actually. But what we'll do is we'll just set a a rule for everybody and um, the rule is localhost 4200 can have access to the whole site that's all we're gonna do just keep it short and simple and they said uh, they have an idea down here how you could do that an example so if we go down here I was actually checking this out earlier and here it is right here so I'm just gonna keep it short and simple just set localhost 4200 and as you can see, uh, you can set different domains as well, you know, several or as many as you want. Uh, I'm just going to go and copy. This is really good stuff here. Let's go and open up our startup class. So if we go to our project and I'll close this down and then control P and then the startup class. And then we'll need to tell our startup class that we want to allow localhost 4200. And to do that, you just uh, paste that in here, clean it up tab tab and then get rid of this and we're only going to set one and it's going to be localhost 4200 that is our spa so localhost 4200 all right and then also there's many different methods you could use like in this case we're using with origin but you could set this to any origin if you want to so let's say for example uh builder dot and then you could say allow any origin, but we're using allow origins and I'll just keep it that way. And also there's other methods in here if you wanna check that out. It's um, allow any method. We could, we could use that one. We'll set that as well. Let's go ahead and do the header one that's all in there. So builder allow any header, we'll use that. Okay, and then just save this. Then let's go and restart our application. You wanna make sure you do that. So open this up, shut it down, restart it. Let's go to the uh, browser and make sure that it's uh, working now. So if we go here and restart it. Okay, so it took care of that core issue. And if you remember from the last video, we console logged all our values to the console and we're getting them all. That's good from the database. And that was on it up. And that was on our components. And I'll close this down right here. We're console logging everything out. Now in the next video, we're going to actually display it to the view and we're going to use a NG4 directive that Angular gives us. And we'll be checking that out in the next video. So I'll see you then.